part 22. We are going to continue with percentages. You will find this on page 27 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to look at calculate the percentage of a quantity. I just want to show you this is the reverse of the previous session. In the previous session, we were expressing one quantity as a percentage of another. Now, if I said what percentage is 2 centimeter of 50 centimeter? Okay, so the answer was 4%. But if I say what is 4% of 50 centimeter? So then we're just going to say 4 out of 100 and we are going to multiply with the 50. And if we do that, if we press 4, divide 100, multiply 50, we are getting 2 centimeter. So what we are going to do is just the reverse of expressing one quantity as a percentage of another. Okay, so let's continue. We are taking the percentage. Instead of multiplying with 100, we divide with 100 and we multiply with the given quantity. Okay. So if I say calculate 45% of 80, it's just 45 out of 100 times 80, and that will give you an answer of 36. Note that your answer does not have a percentage sign. Whatever that unit will be, this will be exactly that unit. So if this is kilogram, this is kilogram. If this is meter, then this is meter. And if this stands nothing, then there also stands nothing. Okay. I want you to do try now 30. I want you to do number A as well as number F. And then also do for me number 2. Okay, let's just see if we can take. Okay, that's a fraction. Um, let's just try one. Let's make number E. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. It's try. Now, 30. So if I say 6% of 50, so I just say 6 out of 100 times 50, or I can put the dollar there, but it's not necessary, and then my answer will be $3. Okay. If I look at number F, 8.5%, so it's the same, 8.5%. Divide by 100, multiply 2,400. And if I work out that, I'm going to get an answer of 204. That's a zero. Okay. Let's look at number two. This was all number one. So if we look at number 2E, 7.5% of 16. So give your answer correct to the nearest if necessary. Okay. So it's 7.5, still out of 100, and times 16.40, and my answer will be, and now it, remember it's money, so if this is in dollar, then this will also be 1.23. And remember, money I always approximate to two decimal places. Okay, let's look at the practical example. Ocha needs this amount to pay her school fees. She decided to sell earrings for a local shop owner to raise money. The earring sells for 55 per pair and she can earn 20% of commission. Calculate the number of pairs of earrings that she must sell to earn enough money to pay her school fees. Okay, first work out the commission. So it's 20 out of 100 times 55. So $11 is her commission. To find out how many pairs she must sell, just take the 165, the amount she must earn, divide by 11, and she must sell 15 pairs to pay her school fees. Okay, I want you to do for me number two. Stop the video and do number two. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now 31. And we are going to do number two. 
A curtain of length 2.6 meters shrinks by 2.5% when it's washed. How much shorter is the curtain after washing? So all that we are going to do is we're just going to work out what is 2, remember 2.5 two is 2.5. So we're going to write it still out of 100 and we're going to multiply with 2.6 and our answer is going to be 0 0.065 meter. And that will be the final answer.